Hello, uh, I'm Jackie Thompson with Woodstock Public Library, and this is our well-being series. And today we're welcoming Marsha Barona of Synergy Wellness, and she's going to share some exciting ways to set goals and vision 2022. Welcome, Marsha. Hi, Jackie. It's nice to be here. I always enjoy uh, doing community events like this where people are are getting the benefit, um, you know, during the session and well after too. Um, you know, I, I was thinking to myself, you know, when we started talking about uh, doing this series and I thought, well, what can I bring, you know, to this in December? And I'm thinking, okay, now everybody is thinking about New Year's resolutions. Should I do one? Should I not do one? You know, uh, with all the craziness in the world today, you know, maybe people are thinking, why bother? You know, what actual, uh, you know, power do I have to guide, you know, or direct my own uh, 2022, you know, um, and people are sort of all over the map with their, their opinions about, uh, you know, how they're going to handle the end of the year, because traditionally, this is the time of year when we're all getting together with our family and friends, enjoying the festive holiday season. And then, of course, it gets, uh, you know, capped off with New Year's Eve and everybody's making their resolutions for how they want to uh, to spend the, the incoming year. And so, you know, this the Christmas season has begun. Shopping has begun. Some people are finished. Um, you know, those lucky people who now get to enjoy the rest of the season instead of being out in the shops, <laughs> fighting the lines and, and the chaos. But other people like that chaos, right? They like the hustle and bustle and the, the feeling that it gives them that, uh, you know, the energy and the things that are happening out and about. So, um, but for a lot of people this year, as last, you know, still feels very different than what we've been used to traditionally. So, and also a lot of people too are, I know, you know, it's happened to me, I've been, you know, up and down, as I'm sure you have been as well, mentally, physically, spiritually, just done. We're exhausted um, and we need some, you know, positive influx. We need some positive energy and uh, some ways to help us to move forward and feel like we actually have a bit of control over our upcoming year. So I was hoping to offer, you know, some hope and some positive guidance in that, in that direction. Um, so first I wanted to, to kind of address, you know, what difference would it make to have or to set a resolution if you know that you might break it within minutes, literally, <laughs> of making it? <laughs> um, or, you know, what if you, you know, you break it within hours or days? It really kind of speaks to our level of commitment um, about making resolutions. And some people are very good at it and some people really are not. Um, you know, so instead, I want to show people how to profoundly change their life without making a resolution. Um, and the reason that this matters um, is that it's how your mindset is affected and uh, you know, your ability to shift your thinking. So I'm going to kind of take people back to some basics and build 2022 um, to be your best year yet. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> um, so hopefully, you know, this session will be so much more valuable to you than just recommending, you know, that you, you set a New Year's resolution. And the good thing about it is that you don't have to wait until New Year's Eve or New Year's Day to do anything about, you know, setting your intentions for 2022. You can actually start today and start to make changes today that will then affect you, you know, from today forward, including into the new year. So one of the things that I talk about quite a lot um, in uh, sessions with private clients, as well as groups, um, and I do talks on this too, is building an authentic lifestyle. And we're starting to hear terminology like that um, out and about, but people don't really understand what that means. So I would like to, first of all, just break that down for people to understand. So an authentic lifestyle, um, it builds and reinforces positivity and happiness through your daily practice of your values. 
and I'll get to that in a minute too. Um, it's a positively selfish set of activities that enriches and promotes health and wellness through the expression, uh, sorry, through expression and self-actualization. So another couple of big words there, <laughs> but I'll, I'll break it all down, I promise. <laughs> and it is also a life lived in harmony with others by both enriching and being enriched by those in your social and family circles. So um, really, you know, what it is, is deciding what your values are. And once you know what your values are, you can really easily or more easily construct, uh, maybe not construct, design, right? You're designing, you're, cho you're choosing to design your life in a way that, that fosters your happiness. Uh, because we know that no person, no activity, no um, event can make you happy, right? The happiness is within you. You have just chosen to do things that don't align with your values. And therefore, you're not allowing yourself to experience the happiness that is within you and the satisfaction. So um, my, my way of thinking is that we need to really strip everything back to bare bones. And what I mean is in our schedules, because the things that we include in our day-to-day -day lives are the things that have the impact on us. And so we need to clear that slate, right? You take your calendar and you clear it of everything um, in an exercise. <laughs> we don't just do it right away, right? You, so you take your calendar and you, first of all, write down everything that you are currently doing. So I've got my handy dandy little uh, calendar here, you know, all ready for 2022. And <laughs> um, I do this exercise myself all the time. Now it's not filled out yet, but if you just took a regular, you know, calendar page and you started to write down from Monday to Friday, even just one week, you know, what your regular schedule was, you know, all the time that you work, all the time that you do extracurricular activities, the time that you spend cooking, shopping, cleaning, um, you know, doing the laundry, all of those things. Um, and really take a look at it, you know, take a look at the time and account for the time that you're spending doing all of these things. And um, sort of like Marie Kondo, you know, with your wardrobe, if it doesn't bring you joy, get rid of it. Uh, <laughs> it's the same with your schedule. If you find that you are you know, putting in way too many hours at work that you may not be getting paid for, that you may not enjoy, and you're doing, you're asked to be doing things that, you know, really um, are outside of your comfort zone, then those things are not going to be, you know, really bringing you joy. They're not going to be um, fulfilling or allowing you to enjoy uh, the happiness that you have and the potential for happiness that you have. So you want to take a look at all of those things that you're doing in your calendar and take away the things that don't need to be there, that don't um, support your expression of self, that don't bring you joy, and that don't add, you know, to your life. If it's, you know, sucking stuff out of you, it's not, it's draining you. And that's not what we want. We want people to, to be doing activities that are actually enriching their experience, enriching their lives. And you're surrounding yourself with people who understand that and people who are actually going to support that. So that's uh, what I mean when I'm talking about, you know, um, you're reinforcing positivity and happiness through the daily practice of your values. Um, and that we're talking about a positively selfish set of activities, right, that enriches you and you're living in harmony with others who are enriching you and you're also enriching their experience. So that's uh, my long-winded <laughs> explanation <laughs> about living an authentic lifestyle. <laughs>